90 Day Fiancé stars Nikki and Chris reveal they weren't paid. We didn't get a dime from the show. The couples on TLC's 90 Day Fiancé are just regular people when they sign up for the show, but they quickly turn into many celebrities in their own right. Unfortunately, not every cast member gets paid, though. For David Tuborowski's bestie, Christy Amon and his wife, Nikki Cooper, they weren't paid at all. In a new video posted to YouTube, the former reality stars opened up about the show, and why they were pissed the network didn't clean their bathroom. We didn't get a single dime from the show, Nikki revealed. So when we did ask for something, I felt like the least they could have done was accommodate us. Nikki is referring to the fact that they asked producers if they could clean the floors, and they refused. We asked them if they could clean our bathroom floors because while they were filming, that was something that rubbed me way wrong, while we were filming. Everyone was in our house. They had their shoes, and we didn't make them take off their shoes like we normally do our house guests, and we had them use a certain bathroom and they tracked up our bathroom. She added that the crew said to send us receipts of you getting your floors cleaned, and it can only be $100. Ouch. Chris added, I think they bought us dinner one time. However, although they didn't receive payment for filming, the couple dished that others do. During a recent Facebook Q&A, Nikki took to one of the show's Facebook fan pages and addressed exactly how much the cast members get paid, noting that she is not under contract with TLC or Sharp Entertainment. She went on to reveal that they get paid $1,000 per episode and $2,500 to appear on the Tell All special. It's important to note. However, that not all members of the cast appear in all episodes. According to a Reddit user, TLC pays as much as $7,000 for the first season that they're on the show. But it's only paid to the American of the couple since the foreigner is not legally allowed to work in the United States until they receive their green card after marriage. But for the breakout stars of the show who returned for season 1 and season 2 of 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, Jorge and Anfizanava, Danielle Mullins, and Mohamed Jbali, Chantel Everett and Pedro Gimno, Lauren, and Alexi Brovarnik, and Paula and Russ Mayfield, they probably get paid per episode and they also may get paid separately since the foreigner was already permitted to work by the time filming started. In 2016, Business Insider reported that unless you're Ryan Seacrest or Gordon Ramsay, for example, chances are, you're not going to be raking in millions per season. Those kinds of paychecks actually go to very few people. The report states, most people starring on reality shows are making salaries that supplement the ones they make at their actual jobs, from their businesses, or from other opportunities afforded them by being on TV, such as licensing deals, book contracts, appearances, or food and liquor products. 90 Day Fiancé returns with new episodes this Sunday on TLC.